Our project was originally a uh, brain interface controlling a wheelchair for disabled people. So the idea there was that we had a wheelchair and by simple head movements for someone that might be paralyzed or for someone that can't move their body at all, we could control the wheelchair, move forward, spin, move backward. Um, fortunately, the wheelchair that we bought, uh, the shape actually burned out right as we were about to assemble it. So we scrambled in the last few hours before this was due, we were able to repurpose an old RC car and do the same thing. So I'm wearing an emotive inside headset. What it can do is it takes accelerometer data, it takes uh, EEG settings, and it takes um, uh, facial recognition data as well. And then we can feed that and we can map that to certain directions in the RC car and hopefully try to drive it. What we're doing here is we're monitoring two things. There's alpha waves and there's beta waves. Alpha waves are a neutral state when you're not really focused on anything, when you're calm. And beta waves are a more active state when you're thinking of stuff, uh, when you're focused on it. So what we're doing is we're looking at the difference between the two and we're looking, essentially mapping those to on and off. So when I think of a certain command that I trained on, uh, that becomes on and that drives the car. So for this demonstration here, in order to avoid any since uh, we just mapped it to accelerometer data and facial recognition. So because the emotion